In this video, you will know how to make these three enemies from Hollow Knight. The first one will follow you when you are near it. The second one will follow you and when it is close enough, it will start shooting at you. And the third one will do the same thing that the second one did, but the bullet will start following you. So to make these enemies, all you need to do is just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and well, let's get started. Now, here is a normal scene that I have where I can move the player and this guy will be the first enemy. So let's make a C-sharp script called enemy follow player. And in Visual Studio, let's give it some amount of movement speed. Then we need a target for our enemy to follow. So write private transform player. Now in the start function, we need to find our player and get its transform. So write player is equal to game object dot find object with tag and inside the bracket write player and then dot transform. So this will search for the player and give its transform value. Now back in Unity in this tag section of our player, give it a tag called player. So now let's make our enemy follow the player by writing transform.position is equal to vector2.move towards and inside the bracket, first of all, we need to write our position, which is going to be this dot transform dot position. Then give our player's position, which is going to be basically players dot position and then give it some speed on how fast it will move. So write speed into time dot delta time. Now, if you go back in Unity, give it some speed amount and then hit play. You can see the enemy moves towards the player, which is great. But we want the enemy to move towards our player when the player goes near the enemy. So for that, in Visual Studio, in our update function, write float distance from player is equal to vector2.distance. This will basically calculate the distance from our position to the target position. So first of all, write player.position, which is the target position, comma, transform.position. Now write if distance from player is less than, and let's call the max distance line of sight. So if distance from player is less than the line of sight, then the enemy will start moving towards the player. So cut and paste this line of code. And for our line of sight, let's make a public float called line of sight. Now, because we want to see how big the line of sight will be. So at the bottom, let's make a function called on draw gizmo selected. And first of all, let's give this gizmo a color green then write gizmos dot draw wire spear this will make a circle wherever we want and how big we want so in our case we want to make a circle on our enemy so transform dot position and we want that circle to be as big as our line of sight so write line of sight so after writing this hit save and in unity let's first of all give the enemy some amount of speed i'll give it five then in our line of sight section, when we start dragging the value, as you can see, a circle is forming around the enemy. Now you can make the line of sight as big as you want. This much will be enough for me. Now let's hit play. And as you can see, the enemy only starts following the player when the player is inside the line of sight. So this is the first enemy. Now let's make the second one. Now for the second enemy, I will use the same code because the second enemy is just a tweaked version of the first enemy. So we need to make this enemy stop at a certain distance and then shoot. Now for that, we need to have a float called shooting range. This will be how far the enemy will stop. Then we also need our enemy to shoot bullets from a certain place so write public game object bullet and public game object bullet parent so this bullet is the bullet that we will shoot and 
This bullet parent is the place from where we will shoot the bullet. Now back in Unity, let's make an empty game object as a child of our enemy and let's call it bullet parent. Now let's set up our bullet. Let's just drag and drop this bullet sprite, give it a rigid body 2D and then let's give it a bullet script. I've already made a bullet script which is just a simple bullet script which when we spawn our bullet will look at the target which is our player then calculates the direction at which the target is and then moves towards the target. And because it is done in the start function this code will only calculate the direction once and then start moving so the player can dodge it. Now let's make this bullet a prefab and then drag and drop the bullet into the bullet section and then the bullet parent into the bullet parent section. Now back in Visual Studio, first of all, we want the enemy to stop at our shooting range. So in this if statement, write and distance from player is greater than shooting range. This means that the enemy will only move if the player is in its line of sight, but it will not move if the player is in its shooting range. To show that in our scene view, just duplicate this draw wire spear and replace the line of sight with shooting range. Now let's go back to Unity, set up a shooting range value and when I hit play, the enemy only moves when we are in the line of sight but will stop when we are in the shooting range. Now back in Unity, write else if distance from player is less or equal to shooting range, then inside the bracket write instantiate and here first of all we need something to instantiate so write bullet. Then we need to instantiate the bullet from somewhere which is going to be our bullet parent. And then for the rotation just write quaternion.identity which means no rotation. If you want rotation you should write something else but because I don't want it I'm gonna write quaternion.identity. Now save this go back to unity and hit play and as you can see that the enemy moves towards the player, stop at a certain distance, which is our shooting range, and then start shooting. But as you can also see, it is shooting too many bullets at once. So back in Unity, let's make a public float called fire rate and give it a fire rate of one, one second. Then let's make a private float called next fire time. Now in this Else if statement write next fire time is less than time dot time and here inside the bracket write next fire time is equal to time dot time plus fire rate. Now this will make our enemy shoot bullet at a certain fire rate which for our case is one second. So save this go back to unity and hit play now you can see that it works perfectly. So this is the second enemy, now let's go to the third one. Now this enemy is basically the second enemy, so we can use the same code, but the bullet will start moving towards the player. So in this bullet prefab, remove the bullet script and let's make a homing bullet script. Now in Visual Studio, first of all give it some amount of speed, which is going to be 5. Then let's give it a target to follow, which is going to be our player. Then in the start function, let's search for the player's transform. And in update function, let's make the bullet move towards the player. And that is it. Now back in Unity, let's give this bullet some speed and in our enemy AI, let's keep the fire rate as 2. Now when I hit play, you can see everything is the same but the bullets start following the player. And this is enemy number 3. So well that is the end of this video, hit the like button if you liked the video, if you didn't like it well, dislike it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and 
You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. The links will be in the description. Thank you for watching and bye bye.